Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Travis Dykes. On today's episode of Teach Me That, we are going over the secrets to making your bass licks stand out. So if you're a keys player or guitar player, you, if you just play licks on any instrument, this could definitely help you as well. If you want the tabs, loops, or tracks for any of my lesson videos, feel free to check out my Patreon, which is linked in the description below. So without further ado, why don't you grab your bass and we'll jump into the lesson. All right, so let's jump into this. So the first thing we have to understand when it comes to creating licks that stand out is to know what color notes are. Before we can understand what color notes are, we have to understand first what triads are. If you don't know what a triad is, all a triad is is a three note chord. And if you don't know what a chord is, all it is is three notes played simultaneously together to create harmony. If you're ever a beginner uh, piano player or a beginner uh, guitarist, you've probably played like triads to start off, like a C chord, for example. A triad for a C major chord is C, E, and G. And when it comes to numbers, it's just the one, three, and the five. Okay, so th this is what makes up a triad. And this is what I like to call in my head, foundational chords, the foundation of the chord. I call it the foundation essentially. So if you have a major chord, that's a major foundation. If you ever hear anybody say like, oh, I'm playing like a major seven, flat five, sharp nine, you know, whatever, that, that's them using the major as the foundation and everything else is the color. The way that you the colors work is that, so you play the foundation, you have the foundation, say we do it back to C major, then we're playing that C, E, G or that one, three, five, the colors are gonna be what's not in that C, E, G. That's what's not in that chord. So it's gonna be like, a seven. A seven is a normal, you know, that's like a first level when it comes to creating really cool harmony and really cool color is putting a major seven on there. And all that is, is the seventh note of the scale. So if we're in C and I play, go to my seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's going to be the seven that I add to this C major chord as the color note. Okay. Because it's not in that foundation. Okay. That's the reason why it sticks out. The simplest way of thinking about it is that any note that's not in the C major chord or the foundational chord is what's going to make a color note. So you're probably thinking, okay, well, that means just any note outside of those three. So how do I choose? Okay, this is the way, the first way, and this will be the way I talk about today on how you choose what color note you use. So say we're in the key of C. We're playing that C major chord. Okay. All we're going to do is we're going to count up the major scale. I'm going to go to my E string right here. I'm going to play my number system in which in our major scale, which is all of our notes in our key, is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then most times when it comes to like learning how to number system, this just goes back to being a one. But when it comes to finding the colors that work in the key that you're you know, playing in, you want to think of this as an eight. Okay. I know that sounds confusing. Don't get confused. This is only to identify the notes that are color notes. So watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And what would the, be the next scale up or note up? All right. So that's the one. So that'd be the two. Or you can think about that as the nine. Or you could play this three, which would be 10. Or you can think about it as, as a three. Then you have this four. I'll go back down lower, which would be the 11. And then you have this five. That would be the 12. Six, which would be a 13. And this is just seven, major seven. Uh, and then back to one. And so the reason why this works like this, the reason why you can find, identify these, basically what it is, is you're finding all the notes, the color notes that are in the key, but are not in the foundational chord. That's how you find them. So the, since some of the most basic color notes right here are gonna be your two, which is your uh, nine, your four, which is your 11, and your six, which is your 13. 
Or you can, and also you have that seven. The seven is also a color note as well. So it'd be seven, nine, 11, and 13. And so those are color notes. Hopefully you're not super confused by this, but basically when you find your color notes, all you do is you emphasize those when you are playing your licks, okay? So basically if I'm playing a lick and I'm in C, I'm just playing a one, super simple. If I do, if I start on a color note, it's gonna make it stand out immediately. So watch this, I'm gonna start on seven. You see it? It makes it stand out just because I hit that seven. Okay, now let's check out another one. Let's play a two. See, it makes it stand out. That two makes it stand out, or the nine, it would be a nine, essentially. So now let's check out the four. So we're playing. And all I'm doing is just playing this over the pentatonic scale. All I'm doing, so like, if you don't know your pentatonic scale, I would definitely go check out a pentatonic scale video. I'll put a link up here, a link in the description. And all it is, is watch this. I'm just playing my pentatonic scale. And I'm just adding the color notes. So this would be a four or a 11. And it changes how it sounds. And so that is literally the whole technique I'm showing you today. So you start on these color notes, it makes your licks stand out. I'm telling you. With all these different colors, you wanna practice emphasizing those. The key is when you practice and create a lick, you start or emphasize the color note. This is literally the key. And once you get this concept, it's gonna make your, transform your licks to a completely another level. It doesn't take learning some crazy, insane scale to be able to do this. All it is, is taking a color note and adding it to the pentatonic scale. That's it. That's literally it. So if you're playing, find a color note that works with the melody and the groove of what you're playing. You just play around, sometimes I try. I'm like, oh, that four doesn't work, so let me try a, let me try a two. You know, and that helps make your licks stand out. So another thing you could do too is also emphasizing what's different about the chord in the found. If you want to emphasize the foundation, you also can do that too. I'll do this more so in another video. But if you wanted to emphasize, so like if you're going, if it's if say you're playing like a major chord, if you started on the the major three or the three. For a lot of people do that, you know, when it comes to playing like gospel or anything really. Or the flat three if you're playing minor. So my next video about this is gonna be more licks that you can possibly use with all these different positions with the four, the seven, and all the colors. But for today, what I want you to do for this beginning part and beginning time practicing this, I'm only gonna show you three positions because I want you to figure out the last two of the positions. So what all it is is gonna be starting off on this first, first position of the A major pentatonic. All I'm gonna do is just add a seven to it. So we got our one, two, three, five, and six already in the pentatonic scale. Now we're gonna add what's not in the scale, which is the seven, which is gonna be a color note for us. So watch, it's gonna be that seven, and then finish it out. And if I'm going too fast, make sure you hit that gear and change the playback speed to something a little bit slower if I'm going too fast on my hands. So make sure you check that out. So that's adding the seven and it's just playing the pentatonic scale. And it's adding that seven to the pentatonic scale, which gives it color. Now the next one would be doing the four because that's also not in the pentatonic scale. There's another four right here, right there. And so that is it for that first position with the seven and the four. Now you can emphasize other notes like the, the nine or the um, 13 in here, but I like to just kind of emphasize them like, you know, sliding up to, so like, cause that six is already in the pentatonic. I like to emphasize that thir or 13 or that six like this. Yeah. So now the next one up is gonna be this one right here. We're gonna be, this is gonna be with the four.
Who's the second position with the seven? All right, here's the third position with the four. Now here's the third position with the seven. So I want you to practice, practice this with the groove. So the groove that I started off at the beginning was like, All I'm doing is, so I was in the key of A major. I'm in the key of A major, but I'm just playing on the six. Make sure you practice this. This is gonna increase your playing immensely. So practice this and practice doing those color notes because it's really going to change your life when it comes to playing. So what you need to do at this point is practice, practice, practice. I would even just take some, take some time and take focus practice like for 30 minutes or so every day and just practice adding the seven and adding the four and adding these color notes to your pentatonic scale because what happens is once you start getting those under your hands, when it comes to creating with songs and making licks, it's gonna make it 10 times easier. So if you have any questions about any of the things I covered in today's lesson, feel free to drop a comment below or hit me up on my Instagram at T Dykes. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe and that bell so you're notified when the newest videos are uploaded. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.